Yeah, let's uh, have a word with Emma. Um, hi, Emma. Hi, good morning. Hi, yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's a cough that's the problem. Yes, I know it sounds a bit lame, but um, yeah. I've had a cough for about six years now. Um, it started off following about the pleurisy I had. Um, I am asthmatic, um, but that's well controlled. Um, but basically have had all sorts of tests done and everything seems to be coming back negative apart from an allergy to cats. Um, and they seem to just tell me that I'm a medical anomaly and they don't really know how to deal with it. But it is seasonal, round about October to May time, and goes away when I'm in a warm climate. How strange. Mm -hmm. Dr Chris, have you heard of this? Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, uh, there are there's various interesting things here, Emma. Um, I think you, you had a severe cut allergy, is that right? Yeah, I mean, when they did the, the test on my arm, literally within seconds, it, it bounced right. up. OK. Um, let me ask you a few more questions. Were you tested for anything else, such as house dust mites? Yes, yes. They did the whole thing when I went up to um, Dyer's Hospital. Yeah. I think they're pretty much the standard ones. And house dust mites, they were all fine. It's just the cat. OK, right. The other interesting thing is um, it's occurring between October uh, and April. Uh, is the cough worse at night or just the same day and night? Interestingly, it, it, it's fine at night um, because that's what they initially thought, that it was probably my asthma that was causing it. And because it wasn't during the night, I was fine. It tends to be quite bad in the morning. Um, and then once... I, I do actually take an antihistamine and a nasal spray at night, and mm. once um, that sort of started to kick in, it, it seems really good. Okay. Uh, but as the years have gone by, it's, it's almost like my body's got immune to it, and it's just back with a vengeance again. Yeah, OK. Um, the, <laughs> occurring between October uh, and March, uh, one possibility is you're reacting to um, fungal spores uh, in the air, um, as someone with hay fever will react to pollen in the air in the spring and the summer, people can react to fungal spores uh, in, in the winter months. Now, also, it's worse in the winter, you're indoors more and you're breathing dry, dusty air because of central heating, I presume, and double glazing, yet you feel you're better when you go away to a warmer climate. It might be you're going away from home mm. where you've got the dry, dusty air in the house. So what's the, uh, what would you suggest is the, the next move? Uh, I, I think she really needs to, to go back to you know, a specialist and, and, and pursue this further. I mean, this is six years of persistent cough. Mm. I mean, a cough is a reflex to expel something that's irritating your tubes. Uh, Emma, let me ask you one thing. Were you tested for reflux of acid? Yes, I've had that done as well. I've had uh, a camera. Yes, that, that's, that all came back clear as well. OK. Right. Uh, are you on any medication for blood pressure or heart conditions? Yes, I am, but they changed that many years ago, thinking that that's probably what was causing it, but a different tablet... It, it didn't make any difference at all. OK, there are some drugs called ACE inhibitors that can cause cough. So I, I think you need to pursue this further. Don't just sit back and think, oh, that's it, I'm stuck with it. Mm. All right, OK, all thank, right, you. thank you.